everyone and welcome to our lesson for today. Today we are going to focus on getting to know words. So let's get started. Materials. For our lesson today, you will need paper and pencil. Now, if you have that special handwriting paper, go ahead and grab it. And if you don't, any paper will work just fine. We have three learning targets in our lesson for today. The first target says, I can search for letters in a familiar text or poem, the letters H and P. Our second target says, I can identify the name and sound for the letters H and P. And our last target says, I can follow directions for writing letters H and P. Read aloud. I am going to read a poem to you. The name of my poem is called A Pink Parrot Took My Hat. I want you to just listen closely and carefully as I read through the poem. I walked out of my house ready for the day when I saw a big pink parrot flying my way. The bird swooped down and took my hat, then gave my head a little pat. I was so surprised, I just stopped and sat. Have you ever heard of anything quite like that? Now that I've read through my poem, I'm going to read through it a second time, but this time I want you to touch your nose anytime you hear me say a word that makes the p or the h sound. So we're looking for the letters P and H, and we're listening for the p and the h sound. And remember to touch your nose if you hear me say any words that begin with that sound. Here we go. I walked out of my house ready for the day when I saw a big pink parrot flying my way. The bird swooped down and took my hat, then gave my head a little pat. I was so surprised, I just stopped and sat. Have you ever heard of anything quite like that? Great job. I am going to read through our poem one more time. And I just want you to notice all of the P's and the H's that we can find in our poem. So here we go. I walked out of my house ready for the day when I saw a big pink parrot flying my way. The bird swooped down and took my hat, then gave my head a little pat. I was so surprised, I just stopped and sat. Have you ever heard of anything quite like that. Nice job finding all of the P's and H's in our poem today. Sounds. Now let's say our letter sound chant to help us with those key words we've learned, the letters P and H. Remember those key words help us to unlock the sounds we hear. I'm going to say them first, and then I want you to repeat after me. We'll start with the letter P first. P, P, parrot. P, P, parrot. Now let's do the letter H. H, H, house. H, H, house. Awesome job with the letter chant. We know our letters and our sound. 
Writing. Now it's time to practice skywriting our letters P and H. We're also going to say the sound too when we write them. Watch me first as I practice the uppercase P and then you'll have a turn. Uppercase P. Down to the bottom, up, and a little bump. P. P. Now you try. Nice work. Now let's try the lowercase p. Remember, it looks pretty much the same, but we start in the middle line. P, p. P, p. Your turn. Great. Now we're going to try the letter H. Remember the H says like in house. So watch me first and then you try. H, your turn. Now let's try the lowercase h. Remember my turn first and then you'll try. Lowercase h. Your turn. Good work. Now it's time to do some really fun learning. We're going to practice writing our uppercase and lowercase p on our handwriting paper. Remember if you have that paper with the mouse, great. If not, any paper will do just fine. We're going to start with our pencil with the uppercase p. Take your pencil and put it at the top line and then drag your pencil down to the foot line. Pick your pencil up, go back up to the top line and make that bump right to the belly line. And we've made our uppercase P. Now we're going to try to make the lowercase P. It looks pretty much the same. We're going to start this time on the belly line. So take your pencil, put it right there on the belly line, and drag it all the way down to the tail line. Pick up your pencil and make another little bump right there on the belly line. And now we've made our lowercase p. Great job with our uppercase and lowercase p on your handwriting paper. Now it's time to practice writing our uppercase and lowercase h. We're going to start writing our uppercase h first. Let's take our pencil and put it right at the top line. Then we're going to drag it down to the foot line, pick our pencil up, go across, and make another line starting at the head line and dragging it down to the foot line and then crossing right in the middle on the belly line, touching the two lines. Now, let's try to make our lowercase h. With the lowercase h, we start again at the top line. Put your pencil at the top line, drag it down to the foot line, come back up to the middle line, make a hump and go back down. And that's how you make your lowercase h. Nice job with your h in your handwriting. Closing reflection. So let's reflect on our learning for today. I have two questions for you. My first question is, when we write the letter h, how can we remember where to start? And my second question is, how will that help us with writing? Great job thinking and reflecting about the letter H. Keep up the good work practicing writing the letters P and H. So it's time to say goodbye. I hope you enjoyed writing the letters P and H with me today. Thanks for joining me, and I will see you next time. Bye.